My name is James Williams Jr. This is Comfy Havoc number two. So first, you know, I would normally go live, but I don't want anybody's popping up or opinion to distract me from my topic and my goal. Alright? Not what I was trying to do. That's why I hate technology. Because something always has to go wrong when it comes to me and technology. Alright. So. Here's how this is going to work. Because I have no idea what in the hell I'm doing. Alright. So. This video is very important. This video is about Catholic priest and the clusterfuck that has been happening and lord I just cussed with a bible in my hand so I'm probably going to hell for that this is the bible lots of civilizations have been built and destroyed on the bible All right, where people have used the bible as a crutch for oh well I didn't mean to blow up your damn village but it was in the way and by the way there's a rule in the Old Testament, thou shalt not kill, that I'm pretty sure transferred into the New Testament, but killing in the name of the Lord and revolutions and all that stuff by some biblical asshat that decided, hey, I want that, we're going to take it, and nothing's going to stop us. We have God on our side, and we have bigger bullets and guns. Okay, so I probably just pissed off about 970,116 million Catholic people and Baptists and Christians and Presbyterians and everyone else who has a religion. Alright? I believe in God. Point blank period. God and I have not been friends in the last eight years. But that does not change the fact that I believe in God. Alright? Now I'm pretty sure that the Catholics aren't the only ones doing this. But Catholic is supposed to be either the highest hierarchy of the Lord. I don't know who decided that. I don't know if it's true. I just know that apparently there are a lot more Catholics in the world than Christians, Baptists, Buddhists, etc., etc. And I could be wrong on that. I do not have time to Google that and try to fact check it. But if you want to and you want to make a video to correct me, hey, that's fine. But this isn't about that shit. This is about how in the Sam hell, and I said it, how in the Sam hell, let me say it again, how in the fucking hell can men of God get away with raping boys and girls. How? You're supposed to be the next thing that we have next to God on this planet. The very next thing to God. And if you're not safe in the house of the Lord, your ass ain't safe anywhere. I'm making this video because instead of going live like I wanted to, because then, you know, you're going to cause a big old clusterfuck. Because I did cuss with the Bible in my hand. I'm going to cause a big old clusterfuck. Because there are going to be a lot of Catholics who would jump to the defense of the Catholic hood. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with being a Catholic. It's nothing. They're good Catholics too. They're bad Christians. They're bad Baptists. There are bad. Every religion is just like every race. There are bad people and good people amongst them. However, if you are a priest... You are representing the Lord himself. How fucking dare you? But worse than that, where's the punishment for this shit? Why are these guys not in jail? Why are they triaging to other churches so that they can do it again? Why is no one answering for these crimes? Why are they talking with my lights on? The lights are on! I know you see them damn lights! Anyway, as I was saying, I apologize for the interruption. Because I know they see those damn lights. It's like one of them is actually trying to blink. Well, who cares? Point being made, you are a person who represents the all father of fathers. The most powerful being in the universe that cannot be destroyed. 
the creator of life, the universe, and everything that is holy. And you're raping children. Children. Boys and girls. You're raping them. You're a priest. You're the one person that we should be able to go to without a problem. Now, my priest tried to drown me. They call it a baptism. But this is deadly serious. You can't be a man of God molesting kids, raping kids, cheating on your wives, and doing all this stuff that you're telling us that we can't do, but you're doing it because that do as I say, not as I do thing does not seem to work very well at home, let alone is it going to work at a church. How and why is nothing being done about this? This happened a few years ago. It was all over the news a few years ago. It was before the new pope. And I think it was like before even Pope Benedict, I think. I'm not going to swear to it because I know it happened in the 80s because I was a young kid then. Nothing was done then. It happened again in the 90s. It blew up in the 2000s. Here we are, damn near 2020, and it's still happening. And none of these priests have done one fucking stint in jail. And now they just discovered something from um the damn... um more recent more recent events you know but nothing's happening it was all over the news this morning on the today show it's all over the news everywhere and I'm tired I'm tired of reading about these priests molesting children I'm tired of hearing about it on TV and more importantly I'm tired of none of them doing a stint in jail not doing any process. What the same hell? My TV just changed to Janet by itself. I wasn't done watching my show. Who the fuck is recording shit? I'm sorry for all that. I don't know what happened, but I'm not going to mess with whatever the hell's going on. Anyway, how in the Sam hell can someone who is a man of God, who is the lead of God, not in any trouble at all? I'm going to make a second part of this because they're like totally disrupt, dis destroying my um, feng shui here. <laughs> 